Hey drone friends, this is Adam at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday and welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. I have three stories to share with you this week. Our first story will cover some tips to get you started if you just received a drone as a present. Our next story talks about drone manufacturer Guardian Agriculture and how they are starting to offer drone services in California. Finally, we show you a new drone dock that was made for the Tesla Cybertruck. Also, here are some job listings in the drone industry this week for anyone interested. ProCam Pilots LLC is looking for an advanced RTK drone pilot in Warrington, Missouri. Yavapai Landscaping is looking for a drone content videographer in Prescott, Arizona. Photography Services is searching for a real estate photographer and videographer in Aurora, Illinois. And finally, Shivers Buildings has an opportunity for a videographer and editor in Yazoo City, Mississippi. With that said, let's fly in. If you just got a drone as a present or think you might be getting one, then we have some tips to help you get started with it. Here are some things to keep in mind. Decide whether you want to fly for fun as a recreational flyer or for work as a commercial drone pilot. For those who want to become commercial drone pilots, we offer a test prep course for the FAA's Part 107 test called Drone Pilot Ground School. For those who want to fly recreationally, you'll need to take the FAA's trust test. It's free and you can take it with UAV Coach. You'll also need to be compliant with remote ID by March 16th, 2024. We have a video all about remote ID that you can watch down below. And for all types of new pilots, we offer a skill builder course to help you get up to speed and learn how to be a confident drone pilot. Our next story discusses Guardian Agriculture, a Massachusetts-based company specializing in electric vertical takeoff and landing, or eVTOL, systems for sustainable farming. They recently announced that it is the first eVTOL manufacturer to commence commercial operations. The company has started deploying four of its aviation grade eVTOL aircraft for crop spraying in California's Salinas Valley. The eVTOLs developed by Guardian offer a more efficient, sustainable, and safe alternative to traditional crop dusting methods or ground-based equipment. These systems are fully programmable, repeatable, and easy to operate, capable of covering up to 60 acres per hour and can carry a 200-pound payload. They also boast a combined tank fail and supercharged time of less than one minute. And finally, Tesla has released its much-anticipated Cybertruck, a battery electric full-size pickup truck. But if you'd like to use it not only as a truck, but also as a launch pad for your drone, Heisha has made a drone dock for that. The concept is featured in this video, showcasing a design in which a hatch appears that's similar to a sunroof in the truck's cab. It releases the dock and then takes it back in when the dock is not in use. According to Heisha, the dock will support autonomous takeoff, landing, and waypoint flight mission presets, complete with video recording and photo capturing capabilities. For those who can afford the Cybertruck's $80,000 price tag, this kind of boutique add-on may be just the right thing for any drone enthusiast. And before we wrap up, make sure to check out our November drone fails video we just released. We revealed the winners of last month and showed some runner-up clips. Thank you to all who entered and keep submitting your best drone fails for December. All right, that's all we have for this week. As always, check out the links below to read more about each story. Also, show us some love by subscribing to our channel and liking this video. And now I'll pass it off to you. Do you think you'll be receiving a drone this holiday season? And what do you think about that Cybertruck launch pad? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I hope you all have a great weekend. And to all of our drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.